Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyperheims. Let me just lower the volume on this for a bit so I can actually hear myself think. <sighs> Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyperheims, and welcome back to Kicker Run of Wraith. So, in this video, with the new release of the Abyssal Monarch Cookie, I think it's just called Abyss Monarch Cookie, but you know what I mean. With the new release of that, there are some new events that got released, but some important things is that... Look at this. This is a lobby puzzle. Now, if you don't know what these are, basically, these are basically a new way to get lobbies for Cookie Run whenever there's, like, a new update coming out. Like, a new primary update. Not, like, the halfway update towards, like, oh, here's the second new cookie. No, I mean, just for in general. That's based around the topic or the setting of the update. In this one, there's two. Or, well, I mean, there's two lobbies that you can get, but one has to do with Season 8, so I don't think that counts. But you can get this lobby, which is Wander Crab related. And all these other puzzle pieces I was able to do in the first portion because, you know... The first part of the update, what am I going to do? I only make these videos whenever I'm prepared to unlock the lobby, which I am definitely am sure to do right now, because there's only two things that we need to do. For Puzzle 3, we need to have Spectrefish reach level 7, which we're actually very close to, because we re we, we basically recently did the video for Abyss Monarch Karki, Karki, <laughs> Abyss Monarch Cookie, and that means that we got their pet up, le leveled up. But Puzzle 5 is also running in the Deep Sea City, which realistically, we only need to do legit one more time, and then we'll be completely done with that event, which is completely A-OK -okay because, honestly, I'm very excited because I can't wait for a change of scenery because it's so weird having to deal with all this underwater stuff and we're on a farm. So we can literally instantly do one of the missions right here by just going to cookies, uh, plumbing, going to the pet section, finding Spectrefish, and we can literally staff you with some spirit potions and you're A-OK. -okay. Perfect. So I could go back and get that puzzle piece completely done. However, I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to go ahead and like fill up all the puzzle pieces. So I need to complete puzzle five first. But before we do that, I do want to do some checks and just a little bit of information giving. Because fun fact, for the season eight events, they actually added some new things here. For example, there is this, which is uh, this, no, this is a this is a daily gift. I'll take that. But there's this, which is team showdown. Apparently, you could choose between one or the other teams. You could choose team deep sea or team wide sea. Which, if you go ahead and cheer for, uh, I'm pretty, yeah, th there's like some team that's on the f bad side, you get extra crystals. But personally, oh, th it's actually hard. Or, did I just say Team Seawide? I mean Team Wide Sea, or Team Deep Sea. You know, you know personally, I'm going to choose Team Deep Sea. Only just because, out of all the cookies, I think Electric Eel Cookie is just my favorite out of the bunch. Even comparing it to Sorbet Shark. But, I don't know, that's just me. But hey, look at that. There's also some stuff that you can do over there, like Next Goal. Like, apparently, this is just all about destroying obstacles, and you can get bunches upon bunches of, like, plumbing Season 8 boxes if you do this, which can definitely help trying to get some lobbies of your choice. But also, there is another event that I want to focus a video on at some certain point, which I'll collect this, thank you very much, but it's, uh, it should be, where is it? Uh, it's somewhere over here. I thought it was over here, so th it's this. It's Find the Infinite Power. Basically, it's like one of those maze events where you're going to have to find some of the loot that's available, which you can actually see all the loot up here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, I guess there's some dialogue there that I, I'm plumbing. Uh, I, I, I just plumbing read it right here. I, I, or maybe I can do it later. I don't know. I'll do it at a later point. But like, what's important is that you can do these missions where like, you know, destroy 200 obstacles daily, uh, trophy race, uh, open, uh, finish a race and check the results one time. So just do a race in general and open one gold chest. You can do all those on the daily, but there's a bunch of missions that you can do for like guild runs, story mode, breakout, trophy race, more breakout, ingredient bags, and a bunch of other things like cookie trials. So... Make sure to hop on those because this event is only available for like 11 days. So try and do as many of those as you can, like plumbing can. And also be sure to do your dailies as much as you can because you need those. Especially when you're trying to cover as much land as possible. Because I'm pretty sure you need like maybe 360 to cover all 36 squares. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe there's chests open that cost more. But just get as many as you can basically. We have access to the living deep sea city. So what we're going to do, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to happy city. Or is it, yeah, it's Happy City. I thought it said Happy Trail. I'm going to go ahead and boost you up a few levels, only just because I want to see if I can reach that sweet, sweet S rank. Because I'm pretty sure that's going to be important. 600 crystals. Uh, Pub, we got this. Also, for some reason, actually, I'll just talk about it while I'm entering into the level. Yes, let us go. Wait, mission. Oh, yeah. There's also these things I can collect, but they're just for the cutscenes I've already seen. Anyway, let's go ahead and play through this. Let me see if I can get a quick S rank over here so I can actually unlock hard mode. So you can also see it on the video, which... Some mistake that I made going through this level is that I wasn't using Lobster Cookie skill enough. So that was my mistake, but I don't know. I should have been more, like more outgoing with it. I just tried to save as much of it as possible just so I could use it in good situations. But the thing is, you need to use it as much as you can as possible just so you can get all the points out of it. 
But, oh yeah, and also do that because uh, Lobster has the special ability where if you just flipping slide, oh, I missed the pearl. If you slide, it's just like, well, everything is going to be attracted to you. That's how you get a good amount of jellies. Probably got flamed on that so hard by the time I released that uh, Deep Sea City video. But whatever. But let's hope I can get the S rank now and I can make up for it. So basically, your key button here is pressing that slide button. Like, there's really nothing else. I mean, look at that. You just got a majority like the stuff right there. And then you can do it again. And then you can do it again. And then all of a sudden, oh, I'm on the floor. No, I'm not. And I even hit the clam, too. Plumbing, how magical is that? Or an oyster. Whatever the plumb gives the pearls. I don't know. But I think I was going to mention something, uh, but I completely forgot. Uh, oh, there was something I did want to mention. I reached 500 followers in Comic Studio, which I'm actually very ecstatic about. I think I'm one of the first users. I'm actually the third user. You would think I'd be the second, but someone actually managed to beat me to it first, which I don't blame him at all. I'm just saying, like, man, I never even... I, I wish I've heard them, like, earlier before, because, like, I swear, that's actually monumental. Oh, can I... Oh, nice! Oh, it's so close. I know if I activate my skill one more time, I definitely could have gotten it. I could have gotten it guaranteed. I mean, I, re I guess that's not really the point, but, like... Come on, dude. It's that close. What do I need to do to get... I mean, I guess use my skill, but, like, what else do I need to... Just give me it all. It's gonna play all the cutscenes at once. Nope. <laughs> okay, I guess it didn't. But... Oh, it's gonna be such a pain. So I have an absurd more amount of tickets now, which you may be wondering what I'm gonna do with those. We'll save that for in a little bit. But I'm gonna show off this lobby. I'm gonna collect every single puzzle piece at once. So there's puzzle one giving me 30 crystals. There's puzzle two giving me the sticker set, I'm pretty sure. Or the calendar set. Uh, puzzle three, that's the calendar set. The thing I just got was the sticker set. Puzzle number four is 30 rainbow cubes. Puzzle number five is 100 magic powder. And puzzle number six, last but not least, is 30,000 coins. And now I have the new lobby, the new music track for the lobby, and 300 crystals. Thank you very much for that. And now you have electric cookie, or electric cookie, electric eel cookie saying cool lobby design. But I will equip this right now. Uh, this. I think I'm bringing. Is that? Yep, it's at the bottom. Okay, it's called Rowdy Midnight Stage in the Abyss, and it says, according to the description, amidst the inky blackness of the deep sea, a bustling party took place. Although it is a humble stage, stop. Wait, uh, a stage atop of the lid of a can. That doesn't matter as long as everyone is having fun, which you can unlock by the Living Deep Sea City Puzzle Event Reward. Boom, and I'll select it. And it's going to tell me that it's going to be like, oh, here's a new music track, which is the same exact one as the plugging in the lobby. Yep, I can listen to it now. I guess I'll go use the calendar design. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, Living Deep Sea City, pretty cool. I guess I'll place a sticker. Let's get... Let's get Electric Cookie's thick head. I think... I, I, can I grow it? Honestly, I thought I could make it bigger. I'm kind of sad that you can't. Uh... Here it is, it's on the center. Actually, no, let's do, uh... I don't know, we'll put him right here. And then we'll put, uh, Abyssal Monarch Cookie right on top of day seven. Because this was the day that everything died in my life. But anyway, what's, what's, the, what's the new track sound like? Sounds simple, but, like, sounds kind of solemn at the same time. Yeah, this honestly seems like... No, I gotta get my stuff from Yam real quick. Beep, beep, bop, da, ba, da, ba, 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 here's all your stuff, boom. But, yeah, it does seem pretty solemn. Is there anything special happens? Oh, it's the light. I think... Is that supposed to be the... Okay. Apparently, that's a thing that you can just open and close whenever you want, just to show the spotlight on the cookie, which... Honestly, that may be cool for, like, some specific cookie video. Like, maybe if I did videos and content based on, like, you know, showcasing a cookie and oven break, something like that. Maybe I could put them in the center, and, like, that's how I would open up the video. That would be pretty neat. But I guess it wouldn't be as dramatic because they wouldn't have a silhouette, but that is pretty neat. But honestly, to end off this video, what I'm going to do is... Because it, it is rather on the short side, and I feel like it would kind of be cheating if I just posted out, like, a video that was, like, short. So I'm going to go over, over to that plumbing, uh... Pe not postal machine, what? The plumbing capsule machine. And we're going to see if we can get some good rewards out of it. So I can just conversate with you all too. We'll go over to uh, A rank. Because even though I have S rank on the other level. This gives us more points somehow. We're just going to use all of these. Which I spent around like, I don't know, nearly 2,000 crystals. Just to get all those tickets. And we also get coins out of it too. So now we have 5,000 of these. 
And we're just going to go ahead and draw them one at a time. Because we could draw in bulk, but I feel like that would just go by super fast. Because it doesn't show you, like, the results of what you collected. Which, I mean, it, it does. But, like, you know, it just goes by, like, you know, one capsule. Then opens the second one. Then opens the third one. Which makes sense and does work if you want to save time. But, come on, game. I'm looking for a little bit more suspense. And that's why I'm opening them like this. There we go. That's a special blessing right there. Uh, but also, there is a little bit of a glitch which kind of makes me upset, which I've experienced in the last version of this update, where uh, if I get something good, like anything on the left, which is like the super rare ones or the legendary 10 plus 1 incantation ticket, if I get it, it's instantly going to be like blacked out, like grayed out because I collected it. But that's going to happen before the cutscene starts. Like, for example, if I just got one of the magic candy ingredients, you would see that it would have been grayed out because I just got it right now. But the cutscene would display it would display it before the cutscene even plays. I think it's going to be an example of when I actually, like, when that happens, but it's sad. But I swear, you might, you might be wondering, like, okay, why did I put uh, Abyssal Monarch on that one calendar page, saying, like, July 7th was the day everything died? That was basically the whole downfall of everything that has happened throughout the week. Literally. Like, I'm not even joking, like, Mom went to the hospital. I have no idea where Plumbs is. Plumbs is, like, probably off adventuring somewhere, but I haven't seen him in so long, because at the very least, Plumbs would, like, show up at the door and just usually ask for food. But, like, I haven't seen him in so long. I hope nothing bad happened to the blood, but, like, come on. So we'll just count that one as another thing. I had a throat sickness that made my voice sound like, you know, the bootleg Alphys Lois Squidward amalgamation. And that thought that was bad. And then, after that, fleas invaded my house, which caused me to spend a whole entire day learning how to use the washing machine, which I've never used before, which I am happy that I learned about, because now I can just pump out loads whenever I want. But, like, I had to, like not sleep at all just not i couldn't even have time to make content because i was too focused to like washing literally every bit of clove i had that was left in the open and also uh we washed my bed sheets and i had to sleep in the couch for like only three hours just so i could upload again and i don't i'm pretty sure i did post a community post which i was impressed that i even did but that was wild and today the most recent day either yesterday or today i am recording this past like 12 so it makes sense but like uh, there's also for some reason a flooding severe thunderstorm warning no 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 no. there was a severe thunderstorm warning but before that there was an ex oh i got one of them let's see what we get the special blue one which looks sparkly looks like one of those fortnite potions uh we got the one for wind archer pretty good but anyway there wasn't just a th severe thunderstorm warning there was an extreme tornado warning and i know it was extreme because like the trees were bustling they were rustling like crazy and not only that, but like only for a short minute, it started to thunderously rain harshly. And then it instantly went away, which is how I feel like it was a tornado because it made the clouds shift. That's how bad it was. And you know what? That's not even the worst day of that part. Apparently, I found out that all the pizza huts in my area just suddenly shut down. I know there was one in one city that my sister told me about that. Like, you know, it was on the verge of shutting down. But literally, for some reason, all of them shut down at once. And I'm so sad about that because I have pizza hut points I want to spend. And I can still use it because it's not like the it's not like I have to use the points at specifically the ones near my city. But like that means you're gonna take a longer time to deliver, and I feel like it wouldn't be as convenient. Maybe if I like I, I can't even take a drive down. I need to have a car. But like if I took a trip down to like a pizza hut or someplace, it just come on. But still it's just kind of a bothersome. Yeah, that's how my week's been going. How are y'all? I'm hoping that all of you are at the very least having a way better week than I am. Oh, and also, just to add on to the stress, I had to deal with some comic studio drama that, like, made me, not vent, but, like, it made me just, like, I don't know, complain, basically. Uh, I don't know, but it's just me just, like, trying to talk to someone, because, like, I gotta be honest, like, I'm just over here just, like, you know, just vibing, just trying my hardest. Uh, luckily, I got some friends who can, you know, you usually, like, pick me out of these tough spots, because, you know... Without friends, where would you be in life? Come on, friends are something that you gotta cherish, but you gotta make sure that you have the right friends who know to support you, and also make sure that, you know, they're good people. And also give you, like, different outlooks on life so you don't become sad all the time. Because sometimes you do need a reality check, which is something I had, and I swear, after all the stress, the, the, having all the stress that I've had over this week, I am obscenely shocked, which I'm hoping that, like, doing a lot more YouTube and hopefully growing the community and obtaining more money. So honestly, like, because I'm not going to say it's about the money. It's definitely not about the money, but it's definitely something that can help with not only myself, but also, like, doing things like giveaways and also, like, me being able to, like, ship stuff to other people, like, mail and stuff like that, and also just using it to buy gifts for, like, friends and family. 
That's something I cherish the most. Which, oh, 100 crystals. Okay, pretty good. That was a special blue one. Nice. Well, that wasn't even one of them that was described on the board. But, so you know, I'll take that. Pretty good. But, uh, whatever. <sighs> Whew. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just need to kind of like vent there. Because I feel like with just chill videos like these in regards to gotcha and stuff like that. I just kind of just sit here and watch the funny thing uh, open and while I just commentate. Because I know recently, y'all, honestly, there's fun fact. There's a lot of support in regards to the new Abyssal Monarch Picky video. Like, there's over a thousand views, like nearly 1.5 thousand, I'm pretty sure. I think if I check it right now, which is relatively quick, there's like 1.5, nearly 1.6k views on it, which is absolutely insane. And I gotta be honest, I kind of understand it, but I only understand it just mainly because it's a legendary cookie. But also because of the thumbnail that I put. Because I gotta be honest. That's one of the most proud thumbnails I put for a video in a long time. I feel like I could have added a little bit more to it. But ooh. We got the Dark Enchanted one. I didn't even notice. I was too busy looking at the uh, video and stuff. But. Whew. And that, I just thank you all so much. And I hope that we can keep on growing this constant support. Because I swear with the oven break videos. Sometimes we've just been knocking them out of the park. Like literally back to back oven break videos. Like from the uh, let's open a bunch of season 8 loot boxes. And then the Abyss Monarch cookie video. Like. No, they together they basically have 3,000 views, which may not seem like much, but for a channel like mine, it is so good. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna open this last one singularly, and we're gonna open the last 10 in bulk, and maybe we can get something special out of it. I don't know, but whatever the case is, let's just hope and pray. We're gonna draw in bulk, open 10. Will we get anything? We got the 10 plus one! Ooh, that's so cool! There it is. Alright, well, that's not it. Oh, the gold! Yes! Ooh, mwah! Thank you so much for that game. I'm glad that I was able to do that. All right. Now, there is one more thing I'm going to do before I end off this video. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go to the lobby. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to photo mode. Just, you know, show this off. Look how beautiful it looks. I mean, you may see like, you know, and which is something I definitely should be doing with the lobby events more. Just to show them off in the much photo mode. Uh, there's still this fucking bubble that you can still see from the recording software. And I'm pretty sure there's a way that you can get rid of that. I'm just kind of squeamish about it because I'm afraid that like, in the midst of a recording it just might turn off and that's my only indicator knowing that's on but whatever the case is i'll just end the video right here seems like a fair place to end it if you enjoyed this video then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share this video with your friends if you enjoy my kick run content and if you enjoy my content in general why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified or whatever i do in the future there's also merch if you want to check it out but i'm not i'm not, I'm not going to force you to buy anything and there's also a discord called the hype me sub if you want to join it link down in the description and also there's a twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes i can get the kick run youtube set for absolutely free which is also linked down in the description but above all else i will see you entities and guardians in the next video hail the hype knees.